think Bob spent his life trying to figure out how to get around the tax system. Basically, Bob would uh, try to give you the alibi and you'd take all the risk. In the old days, we lived uh, in between two gas stations in a, in a busy part of Akron. And uh, one of the things that Bob figured out is how to rig the, the old uh, pop machines at the gas station. Basically, back then, a bottle of pop was 10 cents. That if you put 10 cents in, you stick your fingers underneath the lever, you could basically clean out the entire pop machine of all the bottles by just spending a dime and uh, just pulling them out left and right. And uh, unbelievable. Bob is, is a bit ironic because as an altar boy, uh, he was one of the best altar boys they had. He would substitute with uh, just about anybody that needed to. And he was great at doing that. And on the other side, Bob was very, uh, very devious, very, uh, no, I don't think he was skimming from the church, but Bob had two sides of his personality. One, where he was, uh, like I said, the older boy of the year, pretty much. And on the other side, he was uh, the kind of guy that uh, would try to uh, pull all kinds of stunts. And uh, yeah, he didn't seem to be afraid of anything. His little dad, dad saved quarters to pay for our education. Bob would dip into the quarters, and then he would take the money. And I actually would take some of the bills, too. But well, what, 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 whatever the case may be, the, the bottom line was... I was a klepto. Bob would throw the money on the floor. He threw the money down when I wasn't looking. And he would make me think he found it. Because otherwise, it was like, how in the heck are you getting this money? We didn't have allowance. He wasn't working. How did how, how was he getting this money? So he had to make me he had to make me. He believe. was my witness. In fact, I think I almost got in a fight with Jack Poydock too. I told Jack Poydock, that's my brother, you dude. You ain't trading no cards with him. I wanted to trade it to that guy because obviously I would still have leverage over Bob because I had cards that Bob would all Bob was willing to give me is some of his better doubles. <laughs> this guy was willing to give me cards Bob didn't have. Why would I trade it to Bob? I could trade it to this guy get all these cards and still have leverage to get stuff from Bob. Bob threatened to beat me up if I didn't uh, trade it to him. He tried to make me feel like I'm giving you a better deal. And when it was obvious that I wasn't going to go his way, then he threatened to uh, hurt me. And he said, if I would applied myself with my imagination and everything else, you know, I, I invented the first baseball game uh, that you play. And I used to hide the things under the bathtub. Remember that? And I'd have the dice, and if you got doubles, that was a base hit. Base hit. Two sixes were a home run, you know? And, 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 and I'd have uh, batting averages and everything. And then one time, Mom found a stack of paper. She thought I was doing my homework, or what the hell are you doing in the bathroom that long? And I invented this baseball game that if you get 6-5, it's a double play. If you get 2-3, uh, uh, it's a fly out. And it, it, it was unbelievable because the batting average would be right. Somebody would be batting 323, some guys would be batting 190, 214. It was so realistic that I actually invented a baseball, a baseball game.